the term congenital heart disease we mean practically a child who has born with a defect in the heart now when does that happen when the child grows in her mother's womb during the development there is some defect which happens only during the birth and growth of the child in utero but after born it doesn't mean that all the patients with defect in the heart will have an immediate problem if we talk of the incidence every 100 live birth one child will have some sort of heart disease so when we consider the huge population say we are in india with a 1.4 billion you can imagine what is the burden of congenital heart disease but fortunately when we talk of one in hundred actually not all of them present with serious heart disease about 30 to 40 percent of them will have a serious heart disease which they will have a problem immediately after birth or within three to four months of life quite a lot of them will have minor holes or some defects which present later and they can be addressed later now to explain you we are not dealing with only hole in the heart i will go with the schematic diagram how just for the basic understanding that heart has basically four chambers two on the top and two on below and if we divide the right side of the heart that is right upper part and right lower part deals with blue blood which means all the blue blood coming to the right side of the heart it is sent to the pulmonary artery a, a big vessel which takes into the lungs for purification where we breathe in oxygen and after oxygenation that pure blood returns to the left side of the heart and finally the heart's job is to circulate it to the whole part of the body now when we talk there are basically two types one is patients are either blue or patients are not blue so if there is any mixing of this blue blood from the right side and the pure blood on the left side the child's in the color of the blood has got less oxygen and they turn bluish so that we call blue baby which i'll explain you in my another video but in these cases either there is mixing or there is not uh, in, insufficient blood flowing into the lungs for oxygenation so that blue blood spills into the left side of the heart causing bluish discoloration on the other hand when we talk of holes so holes can be at any level when we talk of top two chambers if there is a hole in the top two chamber that we you must have heard the term asd atrial septal defect or vsd which is between the two lower chambers the main pumping chambers which is called ventricular septal defect now and also between the two great arteries like the pulmonary artery and the aorta if there is a defect we call it patent ductus arteriosus now these sort of defects which are holes inside the heart or outside the heart if they are small they don't cause serious problems immediately after birth so they will have some sort of heart sound or murmur which is picked up by either your pediatrician child specialist or some house physician or even when you are checking in other hospitals and they come into notice and they are referred for cardiology opinion so these holes are actual holes which we all know which is very common but apart from these you can have very complex conditions where the arteries are not coming out from their normal position which we call one transposition or in our medical terms where the arteries come out in the other way around or they can come from the one ventricle so these all causes complex conditions which will present very early in life the first six months of life and most of the complex conditions like transposition or double outlet right ventricle and there are multiple medical terms which will present very seriously and they will come to a pediatric cardiologist opinion now uh, other conditions which which are called obstructive lesions where you can have obstruction to blood flow one of them very common blue condition is tetralogy of fallows which you might have heard or some, any has got a cardiac condition involved will come across it but if you have got obstruction to blood flow which may be mild or it can be very severe 
if it is very mild we don't need to do any interventions we follow up the child but if they are very tight or very obstructive then we have to go in and do some sort of intervention now of all these cardiac condition as i said it can be holes it can be obstruction it can be malposition of the great arteries or some degree of mixing it remains a very important point from the parent point of view that how will i know most of the conditions if they are very serious they are picked up by your child specialist or treating pediatrician if they are not very serious they might miss the diagnosis but as a parents any child who is having severe respiratory problems feeding not properly and having breathing problems if you watch the child should sleep silently they have got the chest wall movements going deep in and out and the child is getting recurrent hospitalizations not gaining weight really they're getting tired or vomiting between the feeds these are the things alarming symptoms there it is must you must visit a pediatric cardiologist for a detailed assessment otherwise it remains very important that a diagnosis a proper diagnosis in a good echocardiographic machine needs to be evaluated by a pediatric cardiologist so my advice is you must get used to or aware of what are the types of congenital the heart disease which you can come across which i have i suppose i have explained you in very simple language and obviously they need to be evaluated in detail and a further management really depends on a very experienced person who can deal with these conditions in a good cardiac setup thank you